Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to run through Chapter 4, Chapter Highlights. Number 1, state the major difference between behavioral and contingency leadership theories, and explain the behavioral contribution to contingency theories. Behavioral theories attempt to determine the one best leadership style for all situations. Contingency leadership theories contend that there is no one best leadership style for all situations. Behavioral theories contributed to contingency theories because their basic leadership styles are used in contingency leadership models. Number two, describe the contingency leadership theory variables. The contingency leadership variables used to explain the appropriate leadership style are the leader, followers, and situation. The leader factor is based on personality traits, behavior, and experience. The followers factor is based on capability and motivation. The situational factor is based on task structure and environment. Number three, identify the contingency leadership model styles and variables. The contingency leadership model styles are task and relationship. The variables include, number one, the leader-follower relationship, number two, the leadership styles, task or relationship, and number three, the situation, task structure and position power. Number four, state the leadership continuum model major styles and variables. The two major continuum leadership model styles are boss-centered and subordinate-centered. The variables include 1, the boss, 2, the subordinates, and 3, the situation. Number 5. Identify the path goal leadership model styles and variables. The path goal leadership model styles include directive, supportive, participative, and achievement-oriented. Variables used to determine the leadership style are the subordinate and the environment. Number six, state the normative leadership model styles and the number of variables. The five normative leadership model styles are decide, consult individually, consult group, facilitate, and delegate. The model has seven variables. Number seven, discuss the major similarities and differences between the behavioral and contingency leadership theories. The primary similarity between these theories is that their leadership styles are all based on the same two leadership concepts, although they have different names. The major difference is that the contingency leadership models identify contingency variables on which to select the most appropriate behavioral leadership style for a given situation. Compare and contrast. This is number eight. Compare and contrast four major differences among the four contingency leadership models. Using Exhibit 4.12 on page 130, note that the first difference is the number of leadership styles used in the four models, which ranges from 2, contingency, to, them, to 7, continuum. The second difference is in the number of contingency variables used to select the appropriate leadership style, which ranges from 2, which is path, goal, to 7, normative. The third difference is what is changed when using the model. When using the contingency as example for emulation or use in a given model, the leader changes the situation. With the other three models, the leader changes behavior, which is leadership style. The last difference is the desired outcome. Contingency and continu continuum leadership models focus on performance, and the path goal model adds job satisfaction. The normative model focuses on decisions. Number nine. List which leadership models are prescriptive and descriptive, and explain why they are classified as such. The contingency and normative leadership models are prescriptive models because they specify exactly which leadership style to use in a given situation. The, con the continuum and path goal leadership models are descriptive models because users select the appropriate leadership style for a given situation based on their own judgment. Number 10. Explain substitutes and neutralizers of leadership. Substitutes for leadership include characteristics of the subordinate, task, and organization that make leadership behavior unnecessary or redundant. Neutralizers reduce or limit the effectiveness of a leader's behavior. And those are our highlights for Chapter 4. Thanks for listening.